Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Star Fields and this is my mommy. Hey y'all. <laughs> hey. <laughs> looking crazy. You ain't okay. looking crazy. <laughs> you got these patches on. She's got her hydro gel patches Trying on. To stay young and fun. Yes, baby. <laughs> do it, do it. So we are here in the kitchen cooking up some stuff, but we're gonna be showing you how we are meal prepping for the week. We've got all of our vegetables, you guys can see. I'm getting ready to go in the oven. And if you are interested in learning and seeing how we are meal prepping on the Start Solutions to just live a healthy, balanced life, you guys, and stay tuned. Guys, we are making some potato soup. So we had a big bag of yellow potatoes. Yes, this is our first time cooking yellow potatoes. And um, I think I bought too many potatoes. Like I went on a potato kick and I bought too many potatoes at once. So, so some of the potatoes have went bad and mommy's over here dissecting them for me, <laughs> cutting them up. She's over here having a spa day using her little a private spa day show them what you're using mommy underneath her eyes she's using this these little patches they're called hydro gel patches from mary Kay. if you want any i'll put the link in the description bar but they are really really good they good help with, bags. yeah they're very good for moisture underneath the eyes and puffiness so mm -hmm. those are hydro gel patches but she's also <laughs> cutting up cutting up a yellow potato you guys can see so we're kind of getting the potatoes ready for our potato soup and we'll document it. But it looks like we're gonna have about three potatoes that bite the dust, but it's okay. That's because they started getting Yeah, they the started. Bananas. Yeah, but that's yeah. probably because I bought too many. This one looks bad. See, this is the bad potato, y'all. It's all you smelling. Ugh. They see that stink. If you guys wanna just go ahead and, and, and comment on what type of potatoes you like, with your potato soup and what you put in your potato soup, please feel free to do that. Uh, I never had the yellow potatoes before, so I'll be 67 in a couple of weeks, and this is my first time ever eating a yellow potato. Ooh, <laughs> I can't wait. I hope it so tastes good. I am trying something new. Yes, <laughs> I hope it tastes good, mommy. I hope it does too. I hope it don't taste like it looks or smells. <laughs> they, smell like, they smell like a potato, so I don't know. If Almost. It's, I don't know if it's a sweet potato or what type of a taste it gives, but we'll find out. And, We'll let you know how well we enjoyed it, all right? Yeah. I hope we like these potatoes. I think we're gonna like them. They taste, they smell good. I, I think this, on these uh, yellow potatoes, I noticed the skin is thinner. So maybe that's good if you like to get the nutrients that's in the skin, then this would be a good potato to eat because it's, the, the skin is thinner. Yeah. So. Possibly. So maybe that's why people buy the yellow, because I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. But we'll, we'll see. Buy them again. We'll know, we'll know next time if we'll invest in another bag of yellow potatoes. I started to go to the store and just be picking up stuff, so. I do, I'm excited. If it is like a potato, then she just bought it. You know, she wasn't reading yellow. I know, I knew, I knew it was different. I oh, she knew it was different. So she wanted a variety of potatoes, so that's what we're doing. We're experimenting and trying different things on this oh, Start Solutions. And, um... I love it. I love the starch solution. I love eating this starch. I do too. I'm happy. <laughs> I'll let you know when I've lost some weight. I'm uh, I'm not gaining it any. I'm <laughs> maintaining, so yeah. maybe I just need to get down to portion portion control it. You don't have to though. They say you can eat with. I know what they say, but want. everybody's body is different. So I'm just saying I might be putting too much on my plate because I get a big plate and it's just full. I do too. It's running off the edges. So maybe I just <laughs> need to keep it within its boundaries, you know. <laughs> I, get, I get a big plate too. How many stalks of celery do you think Probably, probably um, four to six. Okay. Mommy's been cooking longer than me. But I don't um, major don't nothing. Measure. I don't measure anything, so it's kind of just... Just go by gut filling. Okay, so this is six stock. I'm gonna clean them off and then we'll. You gotta wash them and then. Okay. Yeah. These are little. Goodness. Oh, no. They look good. This is why I don't like buying fresh. I mean, I know fresh is better. Mommy always says. I like fresh. Smell on the smell. I already smelled it. I can't smell another bag. 
Us monkey. Oh my god. This is why I don't like buying yeah, fresh, y'all. I don't know if that's how it's supposed to smell. It can't be like that. That is not the way it's supposed to be. When you take them out. Look, now that don't smell. No, I smell it. Well, I just took it out of the bag. It's the odor that it. I don't know. Once the air's been aired out, they probably. Once the air, your air mouth, it probably ain't gonna smell. Wash them off. I can't take it. Let's see, that's what I'm see, saying. smelling better now. I don't know if it's the bag holding the holding stuff in there or now. what. I yeah, but now we can go back and smell it. It don't smell as bad. But as see, bad. Look. As see, look. bad. You can look at that. That's look. That's getting old. Look. See that? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Show the people. They don't want to see that. Show people what it looks like when your vegetables get old. I don't know if you can see it. Ugh. This is mushy. And all the tips are real soggy. Yeah. So I'm not going to eat those. I'm not eating those. I'm going to throw those in For the For sure not. I have some frozen asparagus I got from Costco. But, you know, if I cut the tips off, I think we'll be okay. I ain't eating it. I'm just going to cut the tips off. I don't want to. Because I don't think the whole thing is going to Let's see. No, just the tips. Just the tips. Just the tips. Just the tips. Why don't you get yours cut up before me? I'm over here cutting. I, I, cutting which well. I would have already had that cut up. But. These senior citizens be having their own way of doing stuff. Yes, it's so, it's it's a faster process. A faster process. I must be doing it good. I'm trying to. Uh, you're doing it. I'm just, I don't know what you're doing over there. Cutting the <laughs> celery. I don't cut celery like that. But. How do y'all cut celery? Because I must be Let cutting me show you how I old, cut it. The old. The slow way, and, she, and she's doing it. She's got the, the old way. Let me show you. Let me do this last. See how you look. You put your celery all in this. See how I'm stacking it all together? Look. Monday, Monday meal prep. Yeah. What makes you unstoppable? Redefine impossible. There'll be highs and there'll be lows. Quitting is. All right, so our next meal is going to be chili. So, you guys, if you are interested in seeing how we make an awesome chili, by we, I mean my mom. <laughs> she makes an awesome chili. <laughs> I'll be in here assisting. But um, if you guys are interested, you're not going to want to miss that. It's going to be a great vegan chili. And um, we'll put the meat on the side because you have to be thoughtful of the non-vegans around here. But I don't even know if I consider myself a vegan, but... I definitely am enjoying eating plant-based, to tell you that much. I can do this. I mean, I can do it. I just, I can't do vegan and low-carb. That's what I can't do. But I probably could. I, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. But I was hungry. <laughs> I was hungry trying to eat vegan and low-carb. Because I'm like, what can I eat? All right, guys, so another thing we're meal prepping is these chips. We just like to keep these on hand. And all it is is just corn tortillas put in the air fryer. Mommy's got it down to a science now. See? Mm, perfect. What's the um, temperature you do it at? 400. 400 for how many minutes? Probably about 10. So she puts them in there. She cuts up the corn tortillas and separates them nicely and evenly on the bottom of the air fryer. But this is just a nice little way to keep mm -hmm. your. When you want something like a little something to crunch on. Mm -hmm. This is delicious. How about an air popcorn popper too? We're gonna do some air. Oh, she's got. So these are her snacks, okay? When starting this program or any program for a healthy lifestyle, you've got to be honest with yourself because you don't want it to just be something that is just temporary. So we like snacks here. We love. Vacuum. We love chips and see, hence this big bag behind me. <laughs> we buy these at Costco, four and five at a 
at a time. And he loves like chips and salsa. So when you know that that's what you love, you have to find a way to recreate it in a healthy way. And so that's the way we've done so is by using this fresh salsa from Sam's Club. My cousin told me about it. Thank you, cousin. Because we went and got a Sam's Club card immediately and got this salsa. So it was delicious. And, um, and making these chips, it's a, a game changer. So you can have the things that you like. If you can with still, yeah, with our black beans. If you can continue to eat your favorite foods, you never feel like you're on a diet. So, all right, guys, look at all these beautiful vegetables prepared for the week. They're so delicious, all fresh veggies. <laughs> So this is our vegetables that we're going to be eating. We've got some fresh kale, some fresh asparagus, and some fresh zucchini and squash. Yummy. All right, guys, we've got all of our fresh vegetables cooked, clean, and on the tray. And now one of my favorite parts is getting to season it because you can season each vegetable in its own unique way so that it all tastes different, okay? So, so some of our favorite seasonings, we like to use salt-free Mrs. Dash. This is garlic and herb. This is a garlic and herb, black pepper, and sea salt. So you just want to be mindful of the sodium. And um, this is mommy's favorite one, garlic and herb grill seasoning. This is really, really good as well. It does have a little salt in it, but it's a very good seasoning. And then I just got this vegetable, vegan um, vegetable bouillon, and this is so good. I'll probably just take this bouillon and just um, take a couple of teaspoons and just massage it into the kale because it is really, really good. But you just don't want to use too much because you don't want it to be too salty, okay? So for this one, I'm actually going to use a measuring spoon. I want to make sure that I don't overdo it with this. I'm only going to use one tea teaspoon of this. I'm just going to sprinkle this on the kale. Get it in my hands. I'm just going to like... And I'm just going to rub it into the leaves because... That way the seasoning can get all over all of the leaves, okay? So that's going to be my sodium for this pile. Is that? Oh, and it already smells so good. If you guys haven't gotten this, I'm going to leave it in the description below, but this is really, really good. Now, because I used the one that has the sodium in it, I'm not going to use any more that has sodium. So the rest is just going to be all seasonings. And so I'll just use some salt-free Mrs. Dash on here. This is garlic and herb. And this one. And you can be as heavy handed as you want with this because there's no salt. Okay? So that's that. So this is going to make some nice kale chips. Has anybody told you? That look good. Oh my Everything looks so good. Has anybody told you how special you are? You are perfect just as you are. Has anybody told you to dream your biggest dreams? Has anybody told you you have It. Okay, we've got this on for 10 minutes and we'll see what it looks like. Guys, so the potato soup came out really, really good. What I'm going to do is add like a three-fourths cup of milk to the broth and um, take my immersion blender here and just smash up some of the potatoes so it's more creamy. Nice and creamy, guys. 
look at that. That made a nice creamy base and then you still have nice chunks of potatoes in there. You see that? So it looks perfect. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. And this was this is the um, golden potatoes, the yellow potato or whatever that we showed you guys earlier, but it came out so good. So you guys Now, if you want it a little bit thicker, you can add some of this xanthan gum, but I don't think that we're gonna need any. So what I'm gonna do now is just season it. We had one carton of vegetable broth, and I'm gonna add in there one um, teaspoon of this um, vegan. This will just give it a really nice flavor throughout. So I just put one teaspoon of that in there. And then we'll stir it up. And then I, we always like some black pepper in ours. So this is really good. Black um, pepper and herb. And I'm just going to... Oh, yeah. I'm putting no seasonings in yet. Mm -hmm, I haven't. Okay. Let me just put one... Um, you just tasted that a little bit at a time. I just put one tape teaspoon of that vegan um, stuff in here. Okay. The vegetable. Vegan vegetable. Oh, yeah. It tastes pretty good. It tastes pretty good to me, too. Mm, don't put too much in there now. Okay, just a little bit of Old Faithful. Oh, you got, yeah, okay. Enough. Enough. Okay. And that should be it. A little dab of do you. Everybody can add it, yeah. But you guys see the immersion blender made it nice and creamy without having to add. Yeah, that looks good. Mm -hmm. Nothing. And you, every time you, mm -hmm. isn't that look delicious? It does. Like every time you, oh my gosh. So this should be great. This mm -hmm. should be really, really good. Got a good flavor truck. It really does. So this is our version of potato soup. All right. Hold on, let's get you. All right, guys. <laughs> All right, guys. So this is our version of potato soup. If you like it, please like and subscribe. Give us a big thumbs up. Yay! <laughs> We're out here doing this thing so we can live a long, healthy life. Yeah. My partner in crime, but my partner in good. Yeah. Yes, this is my baby, my partner in good. I love that every... It's my best friend. My baby. Oh, I love you. <laughs> and we do, we go on diets together, <laughs> off diets together. But really, I think for both of us, this is something that we can say. Yeah, it's very fulfilling and satisfying. Oh my gosh, it is. It's so good. And, and one thing I haven't done by eating all this food, I haven't gained any weight. Haven't gained any weight. So, so I, I, I you know, that. I said that too. And if, if I didn't ever lose another pound, mm -hmm. I would be okay because I feel good about me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But if I can lose a little bit of weight, that would be, that'll, that'll be the bonus. Yeah. But just to know that we're putting healthy food in our body. Healthy in, healthy yeah. out. So that makes mm -hmm. you feel good. And then also what we're eating, the whole family is eating oh, too. Yeah. So mm -hmm. Gabriel's eating more vegetables. Quentin's eating more vegetables. We're all eating more vegetables. Yeah, so that's a good thing because I stopped eating vegetables for a while. Yeah. So I'm back on the back green. Back on track. Back on eating some mm -hmm. green. Back green, on track. Green, green. Oh my gosh, it feels so good. So this is our delicious potato soup. I'm going to show you my plate after I get it all plated up and everything just so you can see the finished product. But um, you guys, make sure you like and subscribe. This is me and Mommy. We're cooking in the kitchen together. <laughs> and these videos take forever to edit, you guys. We do the best we can. Yeah. You guys get to see JB over there playing his drums. So you guys get... You guys get some free concerts, okay? <laughs> and one of these days, I might come on here and sing y'all a song after I get finished cooking. If you want to hear me sing a song after we finish yeah. cooking, then uh, make sure you like yeah. and subscribe. Sing, sing and cook. We can sing and cook together, right. okay? <laughs> I could come on here and sing you guys some songs because a lot of our cooking in our life and everything just revolves mm -hmm. around challenges and obstacles that we've had to overcome on this journey. And I've got great songs about winning, being unstoppable, taking control of your life, yeah. you know, you name it, being an overcomer. And you have Fly to over the storm. Fly, no, exactly. Yeah. All these songs up, are, up, up, no, no matter, matter what. what, you know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> All positive music yeah, that positive can help music. encourage you on your, on your, on your life's journey. Yeah. So right. definitely we might start adding that little feature in maybe every now and again, coming and singing you guys a little positive yeah. positive song, give you a good, good inspiration for the week or for the day. So love y'all so much. Love you guys. Bye. Bye, Bye now. Oh my gosh, this is good.
Thank you guys so much for watching. We had so much fun making this video, showing you how we meal prep for the week. The food was amazing. Be sure to subscribe and we'll see you in the next video. Bye now.